questions, we bow at thy feet. We lay the flowers of our devotion, our heart's love, at thy feet. Bless us during this sacred ceremony. We are thine, be thou ours. Om Shanti, Shanti, Shanti. Welcome to everyone. Today we'll be doing a very special ceremony called the Super Conscious Attunement Ceremony that written, was written by Swami Kriyanandaji. And really it's a ceremony to uplift us into higher consciousness, into super consciousness, and to attune us with God and gurus. And also it helps to attune us uh, with each other as a family. It's, uh, you could say, a ceremony for our Ananda family. We do affirmations together, we do healing prayers together, we chant Om at the chakras, waves of Om to attune ourselves, we listen to the gong, uh, we do a special self-offering, we'll be listening to Swami Kriyanandaji. So feel yourself united with all your brothers and sisters on a path, and that uh, we're all up helping to magnetize ourselves through this beautiful ceremony that Swamiji wrote and uplift everybody up into a higher state of awareness. It's probably a ceremony you haven't done before, uh, but it was written many years ago and it's very deep. I hope you enjoy it. So first let's start with a couple of just brief exercises uh, while sitting down. Let's inhale, vibrate your body, exhale. <sighs> Inhale, hold longer this time, keep holding, exhale, this time hold longer, medium tension, vibrate, exhale, let's inhale, lifting weights up, this is pulling the energy up the spine, up to the brain and over to the side. Feel your body waking up. Now let's hear some chanting of Swami Kriyanandaji and then we'll have a brief meditation. We sing thy name, joy in thee is life's soul aim. Through all trials we sing thy name, joy in thee is life's soul aim. Through all trials we sing thy name, joy in thee is life's soul aim. Sing thy name, joy in thee is life soul in. Through all trials we sing thy name, joy in thee is life soul in. Through all trials we sing thy name, joy in thee is life soul in. Trials we sing thy name, joy in thee is life so aim. Through all trials we sing thy name, joy in thee is life so aim. Through all trials we sing thy name, joy in thee is life so aim. Trials we sing thy name, joy in thee is life so aim. Through all trials we sing thy name, joy in thee is 
life so ain Through all trials we sing thy name Join me is life so ain Through all trials we sing thy name Join me is life so ain Through all trials we sing thy name Join me is life so ain Through all trials we sing thy name Join me is life so ain Through all trials we sing thy name Join in me is life so ain Through all trials we sing thy name Join me is life so ain Through all trials we sing thy name Join me is life so ain Through all trials we sing thy name Joy in thee is life so ain Through all trials we sing thy name Joy in thee is life so ain Through all trials we sing thy name Joy in thee is life so ain Meditate briefly now. We'll meditate a little longer at the end. Now let's listen to Swami Kriyananda Ji, his words on superconsciousness. But the truth is that you have attained that level of an impersonal freedom and, and joy that is not for you only. There's a lovely passage in the poem of Sir Edwin Arnold, The Light of Asia. It's the light, it's the story of the life of Buddha. And when Buddha attained enlightenment, the story expresses how that light spread over the world and everybody in the world was touched in some way. And I forget the exact examples, but it was sort of like uh, a woman walking down to the river to get water for cooking and suddenly she began to dance. And uh, birds were silent and suddenly they started to sing. And somebody was suffering over the loss of a beloved one. And suddenly he felt relieved and knew that it was the right thing. And this is the truth of it, put poetically, that when you attain that, the whole state of mankind is lifted a little bit. Everybody is blessed. It's not personal. It's not selfish. You've done the greatest thing for mankind that you could possibly ever do in attaining that state of freedom and infinite wisdom, infinite perception for yourself. And then to bring it down to a practical level, it's only when you've attained that state that you'll be able to do the greatest good for other people. And you may do that good for them even without ever talking. So far from selfish, it's the very opposite of selfishness. The electricity can't be seen except when it becomes expressed through a light bulb. And so that cosmic consciousness can't be perceived except when it becomes activated and expressed outwardly through the light bulbs of human perception. And when people are in tune with the, with the superconscious and the extent to which they're in tune with the superconscious, to that extent are they able to do the greatest good in this world. And everything else is sort of, well, people working from the conscious level, they never introduce new elements into it. It's just like reshuffling and reshuffling again and again, the same old deck of cards. It's from the superconscious that new things come, new solutions come, new power comes, new vigor to change, new inspiration, new hope. 
All this comes from that level of awareness. People who work only on this level, they manage to shift things around a little bit, but they don't do any good. It just sort of clears the dust and gets it to settle somewhere else. The real good that is done in this world is done only from that level. And the more you're in tune with that level, the more good you'll be able to do. So don't feel that you're doing something just selfishly for yourself. You will be an instrument of truth only to the extent that you're in tune with truth. Now let's repeat this poem, these beautiful words of Master, I was made for thee alone. I was, and look at the candle flame and feel you're offering your heart's love and devotion as we repeat this beautiful prayer together. I was made for thee alone. I was made for dropping flowers of devotion gently at thy feet on the altar of the morning. My hands were made to serve thee willingly, to remain folded in adoration, waiting for thy coming. And when thou comest, to bathe thy feet with my tears. My hands were made to serve thee willingly, to remain folded in adoration, waiting for thy coming. My voice was made to sing thy glory. My feet were made to seek thy temples everywhere. My eyes were made a chalice to hold thy burning love and the wisdom falling from thy nature's hands. My ears were made to catch the music of thy footsteps echoing through the halls of space and to hear thy divine melodies flowing through all heart tracks of devotion. My lips were made to breathe forth thy praises and in thine intoxicating inspirations. My love was made to throw incandescent searchlight flames to find thee hidden in the forest of my desires. My heart was made to respond to thy call alone. My soul was made to be the channel through which thy love might flow uninterruptedly into all thirsty souls. Now we'll hear a song, Lord Most High, by Swami Kriyanandaji. Lord Most High, our Heavenly Father, all our lives we dedicate to Thee. All our labors, all our joys and woes, all our pleasure, all our melody. Make us each a channel of thy peace. When in darkness, guide us from above. Where there's sorrow, may we sow thy joy. Where there's hatred, may we share thy love. Lord Most High, our Heavenly Father, all our lives we dedicate to and woes, all our pleasure, all our melody. Make us each a channel of thy peace, when in darkness guide us from above, where there's sorrow so thy joy where is hatred may we share thy love 
let's do this affirmation together and then we'll go into the more meditative part of the ceremony. This is from Paramahansa Yogananda Ji. Thy cosmic current flows in me. Close your eyes, look up at the spiritual eye and repeat these words loudly, more and more softly and then we'll repeat silently. And feel God's power and divine light and healing vibrations flowing through you as we repeat these words of our Buddha. Thy cosmic current flows in me. Thy cosmic current flows in me. Flows in me, flows in me. Flows in me, flows in me. Through my medulla flows in me. Through my medulla flows in me. I think and will the current to flow. I think and will the current to flow. In all my body, the current to flow. In all my body, the current to flow. I am charged, I am cured. I am charged, I am cured. Lightning flash goes through me. Lightning flash goes through me. I am cured, I am cured. Thy cosmic current flows in me. Thy cosmic current flows in me. Flows in me, flows in me. Flows in me, flows in me. Through my medulla flows in me. Through my medulla flows in me. I think and will the current to flow. I think and will the current to flow. In all my body, the current to flow. In all my body, the current to flow. I am charged, I am cured. I am charged, I am cured. Lightning flash goes through me. Lightning flash goes through me. I am cured, I am cured. Thy cosmic current flows in me. Thy cosmic current flows in me. Flows in me, flows in me. Flows in me, flows in me. I think and will the current to flow. I think and will the current to flow. In all my body, the current to flow. In all my body, the current to flow. I am charged, I am cured. I am charged, I am cured. Lightning flash goes through me. Lightning flash goes through me. I am cured, I am cured. Say it mentally, thy cosmic current flows in me. Thy cosmic current flows in me. Flows in me, flows in me. Flows in me, flows in me. Through my medulla flows in me. Through my medulla flows in me. Through my medulla flows in me. I think and will the current to flow. I think and will the current to flow. In all my body, the current to flow. In all my body, the current to flow. I am charged, I am cured. I am charged, I am cured. Lightning flash goes through me. Lightning flash goes through me. I am cured, I am cured. I am cured, I am cured. I am cured. Your body's filled with light now, banishing all darkness, disease, ignorance, pain, filling your body, your mind, your spine, your whole being with 
light, the cosmic current, the lightning flash of God. Let's awaken the chakra's energy now and add that to the light that we feel. At each chakra, we'll chant a particular note that Swami Kriyanandaji has given us for each chakra. The base of the spine, focus there and chant this note. Om. Chanting Om out loud. Om. Focusing at the Muladhar chakra. Swadhisthan, an inch and a half up. Listen to the note. Sing with me. vibration, healing, purifying, uplifting your consciousness, banishing all darkness, and feel yourself bathed in Om, the vibration of Divine Mother within and all around you. Chant in harmony with this chord given by Swami Kriyanandaji.
ring the gong and we'll meditate. Master said, feel the gong is the Om vibration. Let's meditate now, a few minutes together. Self lifting up into super consciousness. Feeling ourselves uplifted in the light, hand in hand with Divine Mother, we'll close with this song dedicated to her, to the Divine Mother by Swamiji.
these beautiful words of Master, this beautiful chant by him into your day. Have a wonderful day and God bless you.